Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem that has some algebra tiles that you need to find area and perimeter of. So um, this is coming from uh, CPM and this is course two. Okay. And this is section 4.3.1 and specifically number 4-75. So it says answer parts A and B below referring to the tiles at right. Okay, so it says find the area and perimeter of the shape. So here's here's what I have. And, and just a reminder, so you've got with algebra tiles, you have three different tiles. You have your X squared tiles, your X tiles, and then also your unit tiles, right? So we don't have any unit tiles in this picture, but your unit tiles are always one by one. So what are the X squared tiles? Well, they're X squared tiles because their area is X squared and their dimensions are X by x, right? So it's x times x is x squared. That's why their area, so the area is actually, is the name of the tile, the x squared. So, and then we know our dimensions, like I said, are x by x. And, and then the x tile, its area is also x. Why is that true? Because its dimensions from here to here are x, and then the top piece there is one. So one times x is x. So that's also its area is x. So if we're going to find the area of this set of tiles all put together there, we would look at it as a couple ways. I could say the area is equal to you have an X squared tile plus another X squared, right? So the area is X squared plus X squared plus X plus X plus X, right? There's three X's there. So that's one way of writing it as an expression but we can actually simplify this expression. We can combine the like terms, right? If I think about this, I've got how many X squareds are there? Well, there's two X squared. So you would say two times X squared plus, and then how many X's? There's three. So you would say plus three times X. So that, that right there would be the simplified version of that area of um, that set of tiles. So then the perimeter, we'll do something similar. Perimeter, remember again, perimeter is your distance around, right? So if I was going to walk, I, uh, this is my property here. I'm going to walk around my property. My property, I would walk around it. That's the perimeter, walking around the perimeter. So I need to figure out all of that, these lengths. Well, we, we established that that length there is X, and therefore that length is X as well. And then each of these little pieces are one each. That is X. Those are one. This is X and this is X. So you could look at it as all individuals, right? I could actually start, say I start in this corner and start walking that way. I would say it's X plus X plus, and then uh, one plus one plus one is this direction. Then I go back down here and that's plus X. And then I walk this way, right? Walking this way, I'm going to walk and add one and add one and add one. And then I have another X plus X. And then I find out, finally go up again and I have another X, right? So that's, that's one expression, the real long version of the perimeter is just adding each of those up. But there is a shorter version, right? We can actually combine like terms. So there's how many X's am I adding? I'm adding one, two, three, four, five, six X's. So we would say six times X or six X plus how many units, how many ones? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And I can look at it here in my sum a statement here, my my long expression is one, two, three, four, five, six ones. So the shorter version of that perimeter is six x plus six. Okay. So then it asks this question. So B, it says uh, if the algebra tiles were arranged in a different shape, right? If I were to take these tiles here and put one of them down here, one of them up here, one of them over there, take those those x tiles and move them around in a different way, it asks how would the area change? Okay. Would the area change if I move the shapes? Well, no, it wouldn't. So the area would not change because you still, each of these individual tiles, I've got, it still would be X squared plus X squared plus X plus X plus X. The images might be in different places. So the area would not, right, change, right? The area would not change because you're still adding each of those tiles no matter where they're at, you're adding the inside with the, the actual area of each individual tile, like it's listed here. So you'd still end up with 2x squared plus 3x. Okay. All right. There you go.